like anything really important. Hello, Internetians, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, Jaren and I are doing a thing. Yep. This is Miss, this is Miss Effect. Yeah, we're well, finally getting my own series besides uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, well, Resident Evil was a good series. Yeah, it was. Except for the parts where we didn't help you and you just got stuck in an area for four I hours. I got stuck in an area for hours on that. What was that? What the hell? <laughs> I saw that. Uh, this is an old game. Yeah. No, but I basically got stuck in, like, one spot of Resident Evil, and they're like, yeah, we're not helping. We were hiding, like, yeah, they were trying to, we weren't there. They were trying to creep me out, which, it didn't really work. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, this game is creepier when you're alone, so we, we made him alone. Okay, they just realized I was there. <laughs> no one said Geth were smart. Oh, shit. Bitch, don't you would them. think since they're robots that they would be smart, you know? <laughs> Thank you! Caden just BOOM! <laughs> BOOM! Thank you, Caden. I, I bagged myself into a corner. You really did. Like in a literal sense and a figurative sense. <laughs> just like, yeah, I'm gonna let my uh, I need my teammates to real quick. My god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That does look like a bomb. I dropped. Or when Frieza blew up Namek. Hey. <laughs> References I don't get. Yeah, because you don't watch Dragon Ball. Yeah. I tried to, actually, at one point. I tried to start from good. original Dragon Ball and watch the whole thing. I started that way, and I was like, no, it's not. You it's, couldn't watch it, right? It's not going to be possible. Yeah. Yeah, because it's meh. Oh, I forgot time on that. I think you only have so many tries on this to do it manually, by the way, just so you know. Oh, well, thank you for telling me now. Yeah. I believe, I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I played this game, you, might, you might imagine. Oh, okay, this didn't lead me anywhere. <laughs> this is a life lesson for you. The high road leads you nowhere. This take the low sick. road, bitches. Take the low road in. Want to take the high road out. That's a song reference. Is it really? What song yeah. is that? It's actually called The High Road by, uh, I think, Three Days Grace. I want to say. Oh, yeah, I like Three Days Grace. Um, have you seen, um, that was a nice dive, by the way. <laughs> Back up. Yeah, what up? Uh, have you seen the intro of, um, Saints Row 3? Uh. Or is it 4? I have 4. Whichever one, whichever one you're the president in. 4. Is that 4? Yeah, you, so you know the intro of that, right? Yeah. Where uh, it gives you the option when that guy shows up, uh, the high road the high road or the low road, and the high road says, punch yeah. a dick in the face. Yeah, And the other one says, yeah. no, it says, punch a dick in the head or punch a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I, I think both times I went like this, and I was like, boom! The beacon is it was either a kick. I don't remember if it was a punch or a kick. It was a punch, because I remember it specifically phrasing it as, punch a dick in the head or punch a dickhead. <laughs> I think I did it both times. Roger Normandy. That game is by. great. And then there's the guy who runs in. I'm your biggest fan. Oh! And he gets knocked <laughs> over. Yeah. I love that intro. Oh no. Caden. Caden. Why? That's you. No, oh no, not. that is Caden. You're right. No, because I saved him. Oh, that, and you're and you're female. I forgot about that. Push. Or throw, I guess. I grab and I throw him out of the way, and then. No, don't touch it. And then that happens. Well, so much for recovering the beacon, I guess. Yeah. Well, now all the information's in my brain. Yee. The fuck is a Prothean beacon? I don't know, it sounds like a pro. I know what the Protheans are. They're like this game's forerunners, basically. They came before you, and they're no and longer testers, here. Almost. Yeah, and they had really advanced technology. That's why we can get across. The ship that down. Yeah, because they created the mass factory, or someone did anyway. 
a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. But it exploded. I mean, it's your fault, I mean. Why didn't he just blow it up? And furthermore, why didn't it blow up when he used it, like it did when you used it? Yeah. Well, probably because it was made for... It was made by aliens. Maybe, but it wasn't made by his race either. Boobs. Yeah, there were boobs there. <laughs> that looked like an Asari, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't know what you're talking about, and I'm waking up with my hair Doctor, still looking the same. Ash and dust. I, I wipe my here. brow and I sweat my rust. And I sweat my uh, brunette hair. You had a I believe that's just called body hair. How are you feeling? If brunette hair. Yeah, I see that. How are you uh, feeling? What, what How happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it Damn it, I... Unfortunately, Fuck. we'll never get no. a chance what? to find out. Nothing. The he's, he's, he's into you. System overload, maybe. I'm declining the everything he asked. Fuck. Carry you back here to the shed. Sorry, that ridiculous sound was my phone. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Yeah, but I'm hearing voices hmm. now. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I am, I'm understood when I am not wanted. Sounds Goodbye. like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Mm, I'm fine. I'll live. <laughs> I won't mind you, Shepard. Live. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. She said, I'll live. The council's yeah, going to live. Answers. It's like seek. Live! To hell with them, renegade. Fuck. Yeah, that's definitely the renegade option. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your She has a point. He insisted on running off on his own. Yeah. That's and then got fucking murked. It's serious. By another specter, nonetheless. Sarah Nothing to do with these I mean, guys. The we we living we were like, okay, but fine, yeah, you go on ahead if you want. We're gonna stick gone together. Gone. Yeah, and I was like, well, fuck you oh, too, man. <laughs> Sarah's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. Fuck the Geth. It had something to do with that beacon. The Geth are the arch nemesis of my favorite characters in this game. Did you see anything? Any yeah, clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Do I keep it secretive? <laughs> well, that matter. Do you trust Anderson? You don't know much about Anderson yet. No. Before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. <laughs> I said vision. no. I'm not sure. <laughs> A vision of what? <laughs> Keck. I did. You said I'm not sure. Although she explained more than you wanted to. That happens yeah. sometimes in this game. I don't know why. Warning. War. Our death. Saw synthetics. A warning death, maybe. of war. Slaughtering people. Our, our death war. A warning we of our death war. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. 
I know his reputation is politics. Do you though? Or? He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. I mean, that's kind of why this I was trying to give you. He has the secrets from the vision. Do you know? He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity and now from the like... face of the galaxy. Well, I guess the plot wouldn't really pr progress if he didn't tell him anything, because he kind of leads you it's to the next plot. Uh, he's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's not why that we need the council on our side. I feel like it's less about whether you tell him or not, and more about whether you believe it's a vision or not. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the cases. council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citizen. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Why am I having to do that shit? Yeah, you're the you're the commander or whatever. You're the captain. 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 I shouldn't have to do this shit. I mean, I guess he's your boss, so. Still, though, it doesn't seem like it would be your job. Hey, Kaden. Screw off. Um, the way the romance works in this game, just so you know, is uh, you want to talk to people between things. Um, anyone you like, that is. You can ignore people you don't Glad like. Glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead Her civilians. Her lips are really big. But things would have been a lot worse yeah, they if are. you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're I should go. Here just <laughs> I should go. Thanks, My people need me. That's a meme. Pa Paragon plus two. What does that do? I don't know, but it looks like we are out of time. So thanks for watching, and stay interesting.